people walked into my apartment right now, they probably think I was a drug dealer. Why do you have a scale out? Well, it's because I'm a lunatic, guys. No. You know, it'd probably be a good thing to do with that. Let's go over gear. All right. So here's a problem. It's all in that bag. Let's change that. Well, that didn't do nothing. It's still right there. Let's try this again. No, it's all broken on this hand. There's quite a bit here. Some of it's gonna go, and I'll kind of point that out as I go. Ex officio bandana, UV buff. I'll probably change that out to merino buff, buff in the Sierra. Notebook, pen, Sharpie for creating hitching signs. DEET, sunscreen. Purell, why can't I think of the name of it right now? Hand sanitizer, yes. Lip balm, <laughs> chapstick. God, I can't think of the right words right now. I don't know why. Then we have the inReach. Would prefer not taking that on trips with me, but the family likes it. Stick pick with phone mount. Nightcore headlamp. Umbrella clip. That will go on the pack. The other piece is there right now but that's so it will be hands-free. Through pack with comfy strap. Through pack pocket, I should say. Neck knife. I like having a knife on me. <laughs> for no other reason, not for protection, but because I like, I use a blade a lot. I use it for a lot of stuff. I, I use it, I use something like that daily. I, I carry a leatherman all the time, so whatever. Hat. Brokers, or chums, whatever you want to call them, Dirty Girl Gators, two smart water bottles. I'm going to be carrying a t-shirt and a button down in the desert for the first little bit because I'm not sure if I'm going to like the sun hoodie I got. So that's why they're to the side. I'm not going to be carrying that many clothes later, but early on in the desert, I want to figure out what it is, what I, what I want to do. Sawyer squeeze with the cap so I can put it right into those because I've tried doing it without a cap before and it's just a pain in the ass because you got to just stay on point with everything. You got to hold it and, blah, blah, blah. and it can black back flush too. So two purposes. Um, I'll carry three. It's a C-knock or whatever you want to call it. A knock. Um, two platypus. I'll probably only carry that after the desert. But we'll see. They're only like an ounce piece, so I'd rather err on the side of having more water capacity than anything else. It's not like an extra layer or anything. It's just something that will keep me alive. I will do not want to die um, from dehydration. That would be a shitty way to go. Houdini, head net. Uh, Pack Town Nano shit bag. So I got a sponge in there so I can clean myself, mainly my feet, so I'm not grinding the skin back and forth with dirt every day. Trowel, deuce of spades. There is some soap leaves in there too. And that will be because I'm using a, I'm going to do the backcountry bidet method. So. I don't want to have shit poop on my hands. So I will be using actual soap. That's not to clean my, it's not to like give myself a shower. It's so my hands aren't gross. Um, that will be the catch all, that bag right there. That's a six moon design. It's an ounce and it'll be the catch all for a lot of this stuff. Um, Gear repair, there's super glue, um, needle, 
I'll use the floss if I need to fix anything. Backup flashlight, little guy. I think it weighs like 0.3 ounces. Uh, uh, what else? There's tenacious tape in there. And then my Thermarest thing. That is my first aid. Uh, one of those is a green goo for pain because I'm trying to limit how much ibuprofen I take. Uh, we'll keep going this way. Electronic bag, 10,000 milliamp battery, uh, convertible cord, my watch charger because I love this thing. I've been using it for years now. Can't get rid of it. And then what else is in there? Oh, a small, a very small uh, USB micro cord. Then the Rology, or however you say it, ball. I've been using it on my feet. It feels great. And then my toothbrush and shit. And then that, yeah, that is obviously something that stands out. I want to meet people. And I think a Frisbee is a great way to do that. Plus, I get bored easily, and I like to move. So while that will probably get sent home at some point, it's coming for now. Coming back this way. Since I've been carrying this on my back at the gym on the Stairmaster and whatnot for a while now, I've been trying to load it as if I were to load it if I was going out. So that's just some fuel. It's full, just to mimic what it would be. That is an ever new one liter pot. Then we got, I don't think I'm taking that bag that it's on. That was the ever new pot bag, but it's just laying on there right now because I didn't want on the floor. Tokes, polished bowl spoon, long handle spoon, mini Bic, Pocket Rocket 2, uh, Victoronics Classic, then some Bear Line. Uh, yes, I am bringing shoes because my feet are stupid and I sweat like a hooker in church. So that is going to make it so. I don't have to wear soaked sneakers after I'm sweating all day. I know I could walk around barefoot, but I'm trying to keep my feet in good shape, as good shape as I can. I know they're not gonna be anywhere near perfect, but any little bit I can do. Um, those are absolutely my luxury item, as well as next to it. I don't really consider it a luxury item because I use it for a million things. That's the Z-Pack sit pad. It's only an ounce compared to over there on the couch or the chair, you'll see. That's the Z seat. Uh, yeah, swapped it out because it's an ounce lighter, whatever. But use that. I've used not that one, but I've used that one a t on a ton of trips, and I love it. Polycro ground sheet for cowboy camping, z packs duplex, permit, <laughs> that's that paper, tent stakes, Thermarest X-Therm, waterproof gloves with the glove liners in, pillow, it's a Nemo Philo, Philo. Um, love it, super comfy, used it many times, uh, I'm a side sleeper. So I need a pillow. And Gingy toe socks for swapping out. I'm just going to be carrying one pair, one extra, one extra, one pair to swap into and out of boxers because I sweat like a whore and I need to keep the chafe away. So the best thing I can do is try to keep my ass dry, as dry as possible. That are the that are yes that right there that are that's the patagonia thermal long johns patagucci um what's what's the term air air yeah patagucci air air hoodie yeah that's the one frog togs ul2 i believe Enlightened Equipment Rain Skirt. I am getting an Enlightened Equipment jacket delivered because I have a problem with frog togs because they shred easily. I've used them before, but
but I have a problem buying things and knowing they're going to get shredded anyway. Yes, I know. It's a rain jacket. But that's why I'm bringing that. That thing, the Houdini has saved my ass numerous times, especially in New Zealand. I will not go out without it because a wind jacket or a wind shirt is not a rain jacket. And a rain jacket is a terrible wind shirt. So that would shred if I wore it anywhere near the amount that I wore that. That would shred in about five seconds. That would shred just talking about it. I'm surprised it's still in one piece right now uh, since we're just poking at it. Umbrella, I've never used one while hiking before. This will be interesting. We're going to give it a shot. That is a superior wilderness design. Uh, long haul 50. That is the polycro, what, I don't know, polycro, I guess it is, um, pack liner, uh, while we're on SWD. That's the lunchbox that's made to go into the long haul. That's my food bag. And it is waterproof, so, yeah. I just got this, so TBD on my like of it or not. Long haul 50. On there, I have the z packs water bottle holder on the shoulder strap and I also have the other piece where is it the other part of that for the umbrella holder hands-free and then in the back that's my CR gear we'll go over that in a second but that is my catabatic flex 22 love that thing it has kept me warm down into the teens I sleep very warm as you can tell or from what I was saying, I sweat a lot. I run very hot in general. So, yeah, that is perfect for me. It's worked in a variety of temperatures. And plus, it's a quilt. So I can just stick a leg out if it's too warm. Or I just throw it off me. It's great. And then I have those. Those will primarily be on uh, sleep clothes. But at the same time... I would like to try to keep that as clean as possible so the loft remains lofted. Taking a walk downtown to the back here, we have the old trusty Black Diamond Alpine Carbon Cork. Love them. The only problem is right there. I have used the shit out of these things over the years. And they're starting to go. And this isn't, this was user error right here. This one's starting to go. So I'm going to have to replace these. I'm probably going to try to get the ergos before I go. But this was user error. I got stuck. I got stuck in, um, I'm from the East Coast, but I was out, I spent, spent quite a bit of time over the last year in California. And I got a Ford Fusion stuck early in the season in, C uh, in Sequoia National Forest, and I tried to dig myself out with my trekking poles. It didn't work, but I broke them at the same time, so it was awesome. So it really paid off. Going to give these a shot. Never tried them before, but I've heard good things. These are seal skin, all-weather, waterproof socks. Now I do not expect to these to keep my feet dry i oh i more expect them to keep my feet warm especially in the snow if the conditions are snowy or if there's still snow hanging around by the time of there depending on the weather polar buff it's worked for me many times not certain on this i've oh god i've used it on Numerous occasions. It's a Tinkara fishing rod. Um, I don't know. I might take it. Don't know yet. It's fun. I've used it on a couple different trips. It's it's a good time. I know this isn't a camp axe, but I have used that this one before. Now, be it sparingly, but it works, and I like it. It is heavier. It's probably about three, four, maybe five ounces heavier than a camp axe. But at the same time, 
I've been told by people who know things, I don't know things. They didn't tell me that, I just know I don't know things. <laughs> but what they've told me is that camp axes are great axes if you know how to use an ice axe. And most people who have camp axes, I'm guessing they don't have them or know how to use them. BV500, I've purchased this one specifically for the PCT. I have a 450 that I've used multiple times before, but the 450 can carry like maybe a few days of food. And although I don't expect to be able to fit all my food in here, I would like to try to put as much as I can in there. So that's everything. Fun times though. Looking forward to this. This is gonna be a good time. But yeah, signing off. Talk to you later. Oh, I am so stupid. I knew I forgot. I knew there was a big space there for a reason. That is a Arcteryx Cerium LT hoodie. Currently, I have about 35,000 puffies. This is my favorite. It is heavy. It's an XL. It weighs 13.1 ounces. That's a lot of weight. So, because I have a lot of puffies, I decided I'm going to get another one. <laughs> so I have an enlightened equipment uh, Torrid coming. And that should shave about four to five ounces off. It's going to be okay. I don't know. Still might bring that, but I don't have a good synthetic hoodie puffy. I have plenty of synthetic synthetic puffies. I don't even know if that's what you would call them, but I have a Patagonia one. I have a North Face Thermal Ball, but I like hoodies. I got those well before I realized that I like hoodies as much as I do for puffies. So it gave me another reason to buy a piece of gear. Why not? I already had most of this, so like the ever new pot is relatively new. Uh, not relatively, it is new. And that, but I didn't get that for the PCT. The air hoodie I bought because it looked awesome and it looked comfy. And I needed another base layer slash warm shirt. So I bought it. Um, what else? What else have I bought? Oh, that's new. Just because I got tired of dumping out a food bag, I wanted a zip top. I got that for that reason, but it's only seven liters. So it was nowhere near enough for food. So that I think is 12 because that's the large. So what else? I've used that many times. I've used that many times. That's new because I'm tired of hip belt pockets. They would be good. They were good on there, except I've never been a fan of hip, hip belt pockets because they're right here and they're just not convenient to get into. So I've been wearing that a lot, not as a fashion statement. Well, yes, of course it's a fashion statement. It's beautiful, look at it. It's amazing. But during my training hikes or training at the gym, I've been wearing it and getting some obviously looks of jealousy people just look at me and they go orange blue unicorns i know i'm styling profiling and i look like an idiot because i am an idiot so why not try it at the gym i like it a lot so far it works really well for me. What else? I think that's it. Been using the duplex for a couple of years now. Hopefully it hangs in there. There's no signs of serious wear on it. I'm just concerned because it's a few years old. And people say they're delicate, but I've never had a problem. So I have no reason to believe, but I've never slept in it for 
Many, 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 many nights. Only week trips here and there. Um, what else? Been wearing ex officio for oh shoes. These are like my fifth pair of Lone Peaks. I love these things. They're great for the toe box, so I'm used to them. And I've worn them on many trips as well, not these ones. These ones are actually in relatively decent shape. Let me see. Yeah, they're still looking good. I'll get a new pair before I go, though. That's already in the budget. Um, yeah. Good shit. We're all good. And I forgot to say, this comes in to a whopping with the frisbee, I know. And with the heavy hoodie, puffy. It comes in to 15.2 pounds with the new hoodie. And I'll also be, or puffy, and without that, I'll be sub 15. And that's my goal. I'm not trying to go ultralight, although I'm sure that I'll shed some of this along the way. I have no problem getting rid of it as my experience out there dictates. Swap some stuff, maybe some heavier stuff. Maybe I'll call in for some stuff. Maybe I won't like the enlightened equipment. And I'll be like, give me the hoodie. I don't or give me the puffy. I don't know. We'll see how I feel. Uh, that'll probably go. Yeah, with with that, it's just puts me north of 15. But if I toss that, and, and then obviously the things I could easily toss, frisbee, shoes, umbrella, and that would put me probably, well, that is eight ounces, that's eight ounces. So right there, I'm under 14, but at the same time, not focusing too much on weight right now because 15 was my goal. And yeah. So that's that's it for now. But um talk to you. Talk to you later. I got to go to the gym. <laughs>